and that kind of brings us to, you know, I hate to say it, but the bloodbath that's happening with all the aggregators right now mm -hmm. and even people purchasing Amazon businesses. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I've, I've seen you kind of on LinkedIn and chatting and, and a lot of the posts, but it just seems kind of silly that these companies and equity groups think they're going to come in and revolutionize these Amazon businesses or do a roll up, uh, and hire a couple of managers and, you know, increase the revenues. And it's that easy. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's a classic case, a classic case of a, it's normally a publicly traded company that comes in and does this of a big company coming in because they got all these people and all these systems and all the software come in and do it better than the smaller guy can classic case. No, they can't. They need to be like the small guy and then scale up from the small guy to, to replicate that system. They can't do it from the top down approach. And, um, yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I've, I've seen it for years, even before the aggregators was even a word word. If you look at like Procter and Gamble and all those other big freaking companies everywhere else, coming in and buying stuff. Yeah. You don't hear about the little patents and little companies and little things like that, that um, they came in and bought out and those companies failed or it doesn't matter because they got bought out and they're done. Uh, we just hear about it now because, because it's so uh, prevalent on, it's easier for us to see if they worked or not. Uh, but it's classic case of top down management, screwing up a small company.